Welcome to the Impactful Entrepreneur Show with Adrian Hill, a place for online business industry expertise and thought leadership, where you can build the skills, structure, and systems you need to thrive in business and have a lasting impact in your industry. Let's do this. Hey, my name is Adrian Hill, and I help online entrepreneurs to build the skills, structure, and systems that they need so they can scale to $50,000 months or more. Now, specifically, I love working with coaches, course creators, affiliate marketers, even network marketers, agencies, uh, you name it, anyone who is building an online audience and has high ticket offers or has or enrolls people into their programs or offers or services through enrollment calls. So if you use enrollment calls, I can absolutely help you to grow and scale your business to $50,000 a month or beyond. Now, my background is actually in corporate America. So I used to lead large teams of 50 to 100 or more people in the corporate world, managing multi-million dollar launches for billion dollar brands. So launching is my jam. Project management is my jam. That's my background. That's my history. And when I pivoted into online business, in all honesty, it was because I was really tired of corporate. I was tired of building someone else's dream. I wanted to build something for myself. I wanted to live, work, and play, and vacation when, where, and how I wanted to. I wanted more time freedom, right? And I really wanted the freedom to pursue my own passion. So I guess you could say passion freedom was a part of that as well. And basically, I wanted to live life on my own terms. And I wanted to build a life by design the way I wanted it to look. Now, when I first started in business, I started in network marketing because it honestly seemed like the easiest entry point. I had some friends that were luring me in. (laughs) And honestly, that first phase of building an online business for me was kind of a dumpster fire of a mess, if I'm being completely honest. I learned all the things not to do (laughs) for like three years, three years of me learning all the things not to do. And I got to the end of those three years. And honestly, I had like clawed and scraped my way to the top of one of the top ranks of that network marketing company. And I got to that point and I realized I hated it. I absolutely hated what I was doing. And I certainly didn't want to do more of it. And I started thinking it wasn't because I hated the company or hated the products or hated the people. In fact, I liked all of those things. I didn't like the day-to-day work they were asking me to do. And I thought there's got to be a better way, right? So I went down a rabbit hole of researching better ways. And I ended up, you know, pivoting into affiliate marketing, learning that I needed to create value-based content. I started, you know, creating trainings and recordings around all the stuff I was learning. And I kind of accidentally created some online courses. And then through the course of working with my downline, but then also working with people completely that had nothing to do with my network marketing company, I realized that coaching was really my space. And I kind of brought it full circle. And I came back to launching because really, you know, in my corporate career, launching is what I was good at, leading a multifunctional team, getting all the right people working on all the right things to have a powerful launch. And I realized that's really where I needed to be, right? But I share that because I want you to know that when you first get started in business, you just start with where you're at. You start with what you know, you start with what feels easy sometimes. And it's super common for people to make pivots right? And to pivot into this or that or the other thing. And of course, my story is full of these pivots. And I finally got back to my zone of genius, which is kind of where I probably should have started in the beginning, but I didn't know what I didn't know, right? And so I came back to launches and coaching people through their launches. Now, as soon as I got to that space, I was at a point I was ready to leave corporate. I was so tired of going down that rabbit hole. If I'm being completely honest, I had been going down that rabbit hole and struggling to make a meaningful income for six years, six years of struggle, six years of hustle, six years of working way too hard for way too little money. And I finally realized like, wait a minute, if I take it back to my roots, if I take it back to everything I know about launching, about leading teams, about not assuming that I'm going to do hundred percent of the work all of the time, or even if I am doing the work to do it in a more leveraged way, If I was to take all my favorite things I knew from corporate and apply them to my business, what would that look like? 
Uh, so now that you know a little bit about me and who I am, I'm going to dive in and show you this strategy. Now, what I want you to keep in mind as we're going through this is that with this strategy, the audience explosion uh, strategy, you actually get paid to grow your email list and collect leads and launch and scale your offers. Now, most people have to pay to get leads. With this system, you get paid to not only collect the leads, but to get booked out with enrollment calls, right? And that's the hardest thing to drive is incoming automated enrollment calls. Um, We will dig right in. And honestly, the reason I developed this particular strategy is because as I was trying to grow my audience, I realized everything that I was being taught, everything that I saw in the market was telling me I could rely on organic social media. I could start collaborating with other people like speaking on their podcasts, for example, or doing email swaps or hosting, you know, classes for each other or something like that. Or I could leverage paid ads. Okay. Now keep in mind, I was looking for a way to create a highly leveraged system where I could get the maximum results in the least amount of work. And as I started exploring these three options, I realized they all had their flaws that I really didn't care for. And it wasn't giving me the leverage I was looking for. So when it comes to organic social media, the problem I kept running into, it's it's like a slow drip from a faucet. You'll get one lead here and one lead there. And it's kind of a slow drip. Like it's not like you're getting hundreds of leads a day by any stretch of the imagination, right? There's lots of busy work. I mean, you're constantly creating content, right? You're on that content creation hamster wheel. It's never ending because every day is a new day and it needs a new post or a new video or something like that. And it was high hustle, in my opinion. And I hate high hustle work. (laughs) It was completely taking away from that freedom that I wanted. It was leading actually to a lack of freedom. And I see tons of people get stuck in this hustle heavy space of organic social media. It's great because it's free advertising. But it is really hustle heavy. Like you have to be married to that social media platform and posting, DMing, putting stories all the time. I just wasn't down for that level of hustle. Now, one-on-one collaborations were nicer because at least instead of one drip at a time, it was maybe a little bit more like that raindrop style shower head or like a lightly running faucet. Because now there were two of us generating traffic to the podcast or to whatever it is we were were collaborating on, right? Which, okay, two is better than one, totally get it. But again, it's still lots of busy work, right? It's lots of work to set up that interview and fill out all the forms. And then even then, there's only two of you promoting. So you're getting this mediocre bump in reach, right? Again, it's still that raindrop style shower head, right? It's more drops than just one drip from a faucet, but that's not a lot. And what I started finding is that collaborators were really picky on who they wanted to work with. The minute you were trying to get booked into a podcast or some sort of interview, they'd be saying, well, how many subscribers do you have? How many followers do you have? Oh, you don't have enough yet. Come back when you have more, which then kicked me back to that organic social media hustle, hustle place right? So two is better than one. A one-on-one collaboration is better than nothing, but it still wasn't really getting me where I wanted to be. It wasn't giving me the leverage I wanted. So all I was really left with was paid traffic. And that has its own problems, as we know. I mean, the nice part with paid traffic, at least it's like that steady running shower head. I mean, you can, I mean, you can turn on some ads and crank them up as high as you want. You can get tons of leads with paid ads, but there's a couple, couple problems there too. You need an ongoing budget and ads are expensive. I mean, a lot of people are paying $10 or more per lead, which there's only so long you can operate that way, right? Ad platforms keep changing, right? You have to know the ins and outs of these platforms to actually get your money out of it. And let's be honest, you're just one iOS change away from disaster. We all saw that, right? When the changes uh, kind of ripped through Meta, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to call it, right? where Apple decided to stop sharing data and it turned the whole world upside down, right? So all of these had their issues and I just wasn't feeling any of them. I was looking for leverage. I was looking for a smarter way. And so what I realized is there's another method that almost nobody knows about. Only the top 2% use this method. And even of the 2% using it, most people leverage it incorrectly and they don't get the most out of it. And It's what I call the audience explosion method. Now, this is like 
opening the end of a fire hose. You will get so many leads so fast that it, if you're not careful, it'll knock you over. You know, I always tell my clients when I share this strategy with them, buckle up because it's going to get crazy. Okay. Now, how many of you would love a crazy level of leads and prospects flowing in and call bookings? Yes, yes, and yes, right? So let's unpack uh, what this looks like. Because with the audience explosion system, you can grow your list by hundreds or thousands, multiple thousands of people in a single week. Okay, that's how quickly the traffic flows in. And the great thing, it's free. It costs you absolutely nothing. There's no paid ad spend to make this happen. Okay, it's it's an organic strategy, which is what I loved about it. But not only does it not cost you anything, you can make money doing it. You can get paid to collect all those leads, right? Anywhere from two to $20,000 in a one to two week time frame. So it gives you that initial burst of cash flow that you could hire a team or you could run some ads or you, you know, you can do whatever you want with it, right? That's the nice part. What's even better about getting paid to grow your email list is that all of this happens before you even sell your main offer. This is just from activating the strategy itself, okay? And that is the magic of this. That is how I was able to, you know, beta launch those programs I told you about and earn six figures in six months on each one of them. And like I mentioned before, it's how I was able to scale as well. The exact same strategy has my team cranking out 20, 30, 50 or more per two-week time period. Okay, you can absolutely use this to scale to a thousand, a hundred thousand per month if you want to. And this is all without spending a penny on ads. And it's, it doesn't rely on social media at all. There is zero hustle in the equation here, which is what makes it so fun. Now, it's also what allowed me to explode my email list from just under 400 leads. In all those years, six years of struggle, that's how many I had collected. It's kind of pathetic to over. 12,600 leads. And this was in a two and a half year time frame. Okay. And we're not talking junk leads that never open your emails. I just looked from our last round of audience explosion. We had between a 52 and a 68% email open rate. Okay. And 60 to 95% of those leads stick around on your list. So they stick around and they're opening your emails right? That's another thing I love about this strategy. So there's three simple steps. First things first, you need a really good funnel setup because if you're going to send in that much traffic, you better send them into something good, right? Then you send in the traffic. And once you've nailed that process, then you can really scale. And I can't wait to show you the scale piece because this is where it gets fun. So step one in setting up that funnel, what exactly does that need to look like? Well, I'm going to break down the basic construct for you and kind of show you how this comes together. I call it a hyperdrive funnel. And it's very different than the funnels that most other people use. And that's the magic of it. That's what makes it a hyperdrive funnel. So for every 1,000 people that you send into the top of this funnel with your audience explosion, 5 to 10% of them will automatically book incoming sales calls. Okay, so in this case, if you sent in a thousand people, you'd get 50 to 100 incoming booked calls. Okay, automated. You're not hustling to make this happen. It's just happening. Okay, and then of course, you have to qualify those people. You kind of have to pick and choose who are the perfect prospects. Not everyone's a perfect prospect. So usually of those who are booking incoming calls, if you screen them down, anywhere from 25 to 50 of them will be super high quality prospects, right? The cream of the crop. And you'll get 25 to 50 sales calls out of this where you're actually enrolling them into your offers, your programs, whatever that might be. And what we have found consistently, if you're using the audience explosion method and you're using a hyperdrive funnel, 25 to 50% of them will buy your offer. And I'm not just talking any offer. I'm talking a high ticket offer. Okay. That is unheard of in the industry. Most people, if they can hit 25%, they are celebrating. That's our low end. Okay. That is how amazing this converts, which gives you anywhere from five to 25 high ticket clients, right? Now this could be a high ticket coaching program. It could be a high ticket course. 
It could be a high ticket network marketing offer, right? It could be someone signing up uh, with your agency. There's so many different ways that this can come to life. But if you have a high ticket offer, you can, I mean, imagine getting a big flood of high ticket clients like this all at once, right? This is how I was able to beta launch those programs so effectively. Now we ran the numbers on our last round of audience explosion to give you a feel for this. And we brought in just just shy of 1,500 people, right? So it was a little bit more than the 1,000 that uh, I'm showing here in the funnel. Of those, we got 129 incoming automated booked calls. So that was an 8.6% conversion. Most people never see anything like this flowing in. And that is the difference with hot traffic, okay? In these audience explosion events, you get hot Traffic. Now, out of that, as we screened through all these people, we found 35 super high quality people that we moved along in our process. And we had a 63% close rate. Now, that is absolutely unheard of. That's even above the 25 to 50 I just quoted you. But again, that's the difference in hot traffic. I can't explain how different audience explosion traffic is. It is the hottest traffic you ever feel. And so with that, we ended up signing 22 new high ticket clients in the matter of just a few weeks. Okay. That is the power of a hyperdrive funnel. Now, once you have that set up, obviously, now it's time to send in the traffic. You're actually ready for that level of traffic. And so the magic of this is that you have a multi-person collaborative event, right? multiple speakers or experts or coaches or collaborators coming together to create an event. Because the magic of it, you guys, if you give people a really good reason to show up, they'll show up, right? So you simply collaborate with a handful of other people. You can either host these yourself, you can participate in them as a guest. But what I will tell you, when you're participating as a guest, you get a slice of the pie. When you're the host, you get the entire pie. (laughs) It's much better to host. But even if you're just being a contributor, you can get a massive amount of leads and traffic out of this. And so here's the basis of how this works. So all of these different collaborators are coming together and they're all promoting the event. Okay. So they are all sharing this event with all of their social media followers and everybody on their email lists. And as you would imagine, people have a range of followers and email list sizes, but because they're all promoting, you know, 15, 20, 25 or more people all promoting, that's how you get such massive traffic flowing in so quickly. Okay. That is how you grow your list by hundreds or thousands in a one to two week time period. Okay. Now you haven't spent a penny on ads and neither have any of your, any of your other expert speakers, right? This is completely organic. You're just sharing with your existing followers and email lists. Now everyone can sign up for free, but the minute they sign up, they're offered a VIP ticket upgrade. And it's usually a relatively low price. That's fairly easily to say yes to. And that's how you get anywhere from two to $20,000 that flow in, in a single week. Okay. That's where you get that burst of cash flow. So you get paid to tap the hottest traffic and generate leads. Everyone else in the industry, they're paying big bucks on paid traffic. You're getting paid to get these leads. The other nice thing I like about it, you're not wasting time on freebie seekers who are just there to get the free thing in bail or people cold leads that you have to spend tons of time to warm them up right? Like paid ad traffic and social media traffic sometimes can convert like crap because it's cold traffic. They don't really have a relationship with you yet. And they're really just looking for some freebies, some handouts. The other nice thing about this is you're now networking with other top industry leaders. And you know what they say, your net work is your net worth. So imagine having a network of six, seven, and eight figure earners rallied around you and viewing you as a peer right? If you have imposter syndrome, I guarantee after going through a round of this, your imposter syndrome will disappear. The fact that it builds a trusted network around you and helps you expand your network is, in my opinion, one of the most valuable aspects of it. Money aside, your network is even more valuable. And the nice thing about it is all of the experts and including you, because you're one of the speakers, you build your authority You're on stage. You're being featured as an expert. People view you as an expert. You have instant 
authority. So you can go from a complete nobody to a somebody overnight. I mean, that's what happened for me when I started hosting these, right? And now the cool thing is, especially if you set it up properly, which is key, the other speakers will be so impressed, you'll start getting invited to lots of speaking gigs. They'll be inviting you to speak on their podcast. You'll be invited to do some guest coaching slots in their programs. There's all kinds of opportunities that open up. And consistently, time and time again, we see this as one of the benefits. So it creates PR and visibility for you and your brand on a massive scale, okay? All with no social media hustle and no paid ads. Now, this was the level of leverage I was looking for. And it might be the level of leverage that you've been looking for as well. So Pamela was brand new, right? She was launching for the first time within one week of turning on her hyperdrive engine that was attached to her audience explosion event. She had 78 sales on autopilot, earned over $3,000 in revenue, and added almost 800 people to her email list. Now, this was before she even sold her main offer. This was just the initial cash flow that came in from activating that audience explosion and sending people through her hyperdrive funnel. Okay. And this was after only one week. She still had week two, three, four, et cetera. So this was the low end of what she earned, right? Carrie did the same thing within three weeks of turning on her hyperdrive engine that was attached to her audience explosion event. She had made over 213 sales on autopilot earned just shy of $7,000 in revenue. And she ended up messaging me a couple days later and saying, I broke 7,000. I'm officially there, right? And added just shy of 2,000 people to her email list. Again, before she even sold her main offer, without hustling on social media, without spending a penny on paid ads, right? And so what I love about this with audience explosion traffic, you can do it yourself. But you can also delegate or outsource 90% of the work. So if you're further along in business and you're scaling and you're working on delegating more and more and more to a team, this is the best strategy you can have in your back pocket. So that's how you can scale. So let's unpack the scaling step. Okay. With each one of these events, of course, we talked about that's how you're generating all this super hot flow of traffic, right? But it's also how you're growing your email list very quickly with people who are actually opening the emails and people who actually stick around. But it's also how you're signing all those high ticket clients in a very short period of time. Now, it's also how you are scaling your revenue and getting more leverage in your business, right? Because you're bringing in so many clients so fast, you can very quickly build out a group coaching program or fill up your agency if you're running an agency or explode your downline if you're recruiting into a network marketing company. Um, It's really nice the way this works. You can scale your income really, really quickly, especially if you have a high ticket offer. It's also how you can fill every... like pre-seed a launch. If you have a big launch coming up, maybe you're running a challenge, you're doing a live launch, you're hosting a workshop. It's so much easier to fill the room and fill that launch right after you've just exploded your audience, right? So it makes it that much easier to fill every round of your launch cycle. But it's also creating nonstop content that you can share on social media because you can slice and dice these interviews in a thousand different ways ways and turn it into tons of content. And that's why it's also how you can launch a show or a podcast or something like that and have never ending content. This one strategy becomes the central hub of your business and it feeds everything. Gone are the days where you have a disconnected business with disconnected launch cycles and strategies. Now everything is connected and simplified. So with every single one of these events, I mean, look at all these people you've interviewed or these trainings you've collected, right? That is how a perfect example, I took, I take all the interviews that I do in my summits and collaboration events, and I repurpose them to become the impactful entrepreneur show. 
So I have a show that comes out on a regular basis. I have never ending content. I have never ending interviews. And the other thing is I can slice and dice all these interviews up in a hundred different ways to have non-stop content on social media to attract in my ideal audience, right? So I'm killing two birds with one stone, right? You can also repurpose all of these interviews and trainings to be bonuses inside of your courses or program. They could be special perks that people get as a, you know, a fast action bonus on something. They can be, you could even create a free training portal if you wanted to share all these things for free. You could, they essentially the collection of all these interviews is a tiny offer. So if you've ever been thinking like, oh, I really want to create a tiny offer, but I'm not sure what it should be. This by default is a tiny offer if you choose to repurpose it that way, right? I'm sure the wheels are already turning of all the different ways that you could leverage and repurpose these interviews, right? So that is how I create social media content twice a year. Let that sink in. I create social media content twice a year. Wouldn't you love to do that too, right? That is how my team and I use this as a scaling tool is not just by activating the event, but by activating the event and repurposing all of the assets in any and every way that we can think of, including feeding social media. So gone are the days where you're glued to a camera 24 seven, hustling your butt off on that content creation hamster wheel and hello to real freedom right? This is the most leveraged strategy you can possibly use. So if we revisit our categories from before and all the issues that they come with, and now we add the audience explosion into the lineup. Here's what we see. With the audience explosion method, it grows your email list wicked fast, right? It sends you floods of clients all at once in a very short period of time. It makes it that much easier to fill up any subsequent events you have, challenges, workshops, webinars, masterclasses. It's so much easier to fill the room when you're regularly using this audience explosion method. It gives you never ending content that you can use for social media, use for your podcast, use for whatever you want, right? And you can teach and delegate it to your team. 90% of the work can be delegated to your team. So to help you get started with setting up your own audience explosion, I have a free gift for you. It's called the Audience Explosion Toolkit. And in this toolkit, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know to really wrap your head around the strategy and get a fast start. Everything from showing you the highest value audiences that you should be focusing on and the low value audiences not to waste your time on. And I'm also going to break down some traffic fundamentals for you, why this style of traffic is so, so different. And we're also even going to break down if you're launching for the first time, the role that this plays in your business versus if you are working on scaling to 50,000 or even $100,000 a month or more, the role that this strategy can play in your business. Now, I'm also going to break down everything you need to activate this strategy, all the main moving parts, but also all the small details, all the admin stuff you need, the graphics, like all the details to think about as you start setting up your own offer. So if you are now catching the vision of the power of an audience explosion like this, and you're recognizing, I think this is the thing I've been missing. I really need to get started with this. Go ahead and scoop up that free gift and it will help you to get a fast start. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Impactful Entrepreneur Show. If you found amazing value here, like, subscribe, and leave us a review to help other people find the high value content that we share and find us on social media so we can continue the conversation. See you in the next episode.